guys, before I get into today's video, I wanted to just give you all a shout out and thanks for sharing the YouTube channel on your Instagram. Thank you so much. We've gained several new subscribers. I am still taking in um, people that are um, sharing on Instagram for the giveaway. I purchased the Bible. It will be here in a couple of days. It is uh, this exact Bible, by the way. This is my personal, but it's going to be just like this, except navy blue. It's a limited edition. Uh, they only have a limited amount of those they made. That's the one I'm going to be giving away. But I wanted to tell you all, thank you so much for posting on Instagram. We've gained a ton of subscribers, so thank you for that. Now, on to today's video. Before I show you my note-taking system, I wanted to let you know that I did not come up with this. I, I can't even remember where I found this. It was online somewhere. I was reading a blog. It was Bible reviews. And this, this blogger did an interview with a guy who used Jonathan Edwards' note-taking system. Jonathan Edwards, uh, what he did way back in the day, he took a Bible and he took it apart and he put blank pieces of paper after every chapter and he wrote notes into them and then he partnered that with a journal. And so I really like that system and I wanted to just kind of show you what I personally do. So let's get into it. Uh, first of all, what I travel with is this Thomas Nelson Premier Edition. I really, really like it. It travels well. It's the NKJV version. I really uh, enjoy the NKJV. And so this is what I travel with and what I'm constantly reading. Now my journaling system, I got this from Lockbee and I'll put a link in the description below. And uh, you can get these Lockbee journals. They have dot grid, they have line, uh, they have blank. You can get all that. I really like the dot grid. And so this is just my personal notes. This is what I use daily. This is for my uh, thoughts I'm fleshing out, things I feel in prayer. So that's what this is. This is a little notebook I have and what I do is through each book I read and I have my own ongoing commentary. Um, this is what I have through each chapter, each verse. I'm writing thoughts based off of each verse and that's what this is right here. And I have one of these for each book of the Bible and I keep it, keep one on me uh, each time depending on where I'm at in the Bible. And these are really, really cheap. I got these on Amazon. Uh, these are good for fountain pens, so that's what that's for. So I have that notebook. I have this one for thoughts, I feel in prayer, things that I feel challenging me, so on and so forth. But my Bible journal, this is a different, uh, different beast of a kind right here. This is the one from Jonathan Edwards. And as you can tell, this one's going to be for life. This is in my Schuyler leather bound journal. Um, this is not going to change. I'll have this forever, uh, Lord willing. And so the reason why I like the Schuyler journal is because it's got this table of contents page. And I utilize this. And you'll notice right here, I'm not sure if you can see that, but it says pages one through four, N001. This is a study I've done on the books. Now, before I get into the journaling system, you'll know that I do theme studies. I'm looking at a theme and how it runs throughout the entire uh, Bible from beginning to end. And I'm going through each book and I'm picking up on that theme and I'm journaling about it so I can develop a strong, strong topic. And that's what this journal is. These are all themes, uh, books. And let's, let's jump to trees, M009 on the tree. So that starts at page 45. So let's go there. And that's what, I, by the way, these numbers over here, I just drew a line down the center, M009, and I'll show you what that means in a minute. That's miscellaneous 009. And uh, on this one page, I can go all the way up to miscellaneous 27. And then there's obviously tons of room for more of these theme studies. I just started this journal, so I'm on M00 or M010. That M is miscellaneous. It's a, it's a theme study that I'm doing. So let's look at the theme study on trees. I'm actually writing a book on this right now. So page 45. Um, this theme will overlap, by the way, with high things. The study I did on the high things in N006. So you go through here, and I'm going to have tons of stuff. Uh, for example, uh, tree, the Hebrew word or the English word tree is mentioned 293 times, fruit 212, branch 107, root 57, 
so on and forth, so on and so forth. This is not to mention the names of specific trees that are mentioned, such as oak, terebinth, acacia, olive, etc. The word tree is flexible in Hebrew. It's its. It can, when, when you see the Hebrew word its, it's referring sometimes to a bush or an idol. Sometimes when you see the word wood, or most of the time when you see the word wood, it's the word tree in Hebrew. So that's important as well. And that's how I developed the study. I'm looking at the, the Hebrew word, not just the English. So, and I come over here and these are, for example, uh, days one through three, uh, or actually days, yes, one through three. This is bracket one. And I've got a whole study I'm doing on this, but days one through three is, is column one. On the last day, of, or the last thing he creates on day three, is a tree he tells to be fruitful. Days four through six, the next column, the last thing he creates was a human, he tells him to be fruitful. So humans are like trees in the, the biblical narrative. So then let's get into the miscellany. So Genesis 2, 9, everything in red is scripture. So by the way, these are the pens that I use. I use microns and I'm constantly using blue and red. And the reason why I use microns, by the way, um, I'll pull up all of these pens. This is another journal set up I'll go through in a moment. But I use microns to write in my Bible because these are not going to bleed through through these delicate thin pages. These are my journaling. This is green. This is blue. And then this is red, this particular pen. So all of this was written with this pen. All of the thoughts, my thoughts, are written black with that pen so I've got on me constantly a red pen a black pen for journal a green and a blue pen and then for my Bible I have the microns red and blue so let's go to Genesis 2 9 so when you go to Genesis chapter 2 verse 9 you're going to see miscellaneous nine. I wrote, wrote it in red with this micron and I underline theme studies in blue. Okay, that's everywhere you see blue. It's denoting a theme study and then it's also got the um, miscellaneous number. So obviously I can't write out all of these notes in my Bible. So what I do is when I'm reading my Bible, when I come across M009, I immediately go to M009, here are the contents, and I start at page 45, and sure enough, there it is. So Genesis 2, 16, um, M009, Genesis 3, 1, sorry, 2, 16, 3, 1, all of these miscellaneous are in here. And then right here, you can see M004, which is, tabernacle. Um, so M004, both thorns of this shall bring forth to you, you shall eat the urban field. Um, in the tabernacle, there's a note I have, a long form note in M004. So this is a way to write extensive notes on these passages in a journal that's tied to my Bible. By just putting the M009 in my Bible, I can write the long form notes here in my journal and as you can see I've got tons and tons of notes on this so Exodus 3 Exodus 3 1 M009 as you can see um, it's all through here and like I said it's in blue this is underlined in red uh, these are Horeb in Hebrew it means dry place that was pretty important to me. So I just put the, the Hebrew definition there. There's This isn't in any notes. This is just for my own personal reading later on. These right here that are underlined in red with the star, that's in this little journal, my commentary journal. So Exodus 122. If I come here, Exodus 122 is in my running commentary. 
This is just a thought on a passage. This isn't a full-on theme study. This is not a miscellaneous. This may develop into one, but right now it's just in here. So I've got that, and then I've got the long form here in my miscellaneous journal. And when you start documenting all of these things, you begin to make some really, really cool uh, observations and connections. And your brain just can't remember all this. And this is, by the way, why I try to read through the Bible every two to three months. Because now that I'm zoning in on trees, I can go through the entire Bible in two, depending on the, how busy the month is, two to three months. And I can make all the connections from Genesis to Revelation on trees. Uh, I've got all the way to First Peter, all the way to Revelation here. So if I go to Revelation 22, 14 through 16, uh, if you don't have time to do this, you can still do this with a yearly Bible plan. However, uh, just know, you know, you're going to, your brain is going to lag. There's going to be more time between the study. That's why I try to go through the Bible so often so that I can see these connecting points within a span of two to three months rather than uh, 12 months. So M009 right there. So from Genesis to Revelation, I have documented trees. Uh, I'm working on one right now, the Shema prayer. Here is the Lord our God is one. You shall love him with all your heart, uh, with all your soul, with all your strength. I'm doing a study on this. Got the Hebrew words, what Shema actually means in Hebrew, and I'm breaking it down. So this is my current miscellaneous. And this is when you begin to see huge themes and you can make those really, really cool connections that the biblical authors are intending us to make. So that's my miscellaneous journal. And then this, uh, I'm going through, this is my New Testament. This is, you know, first four books, I think, or the first five books of the Bible. This is my Torah. This is my New Testament. And this is just a little journal I keep on me. Again, this is a little, a little binder from Lockbee. Uh, you can buy both of these from Lockbee. I added my own ribbons. Uh, because I'm OCD. I think the ribbons were yellow and I added blue ones. Uh, just really simply just push them through there. And I wanted them to match my journal. Uh, but this, this is just kind of like my, uh, I have a New Testament reading order that I'm doing right now. Um, reading it in the order in which it was written. Um, that's what I'm doing right now. Then I have just my to-do list. This is just kind of, there's no structure to this. This is just whatever, whatever I need to get done in that day. That's what this little journal is for. And I keep these on me at all times. I travel with these in a little bag, a little satchel that I carry with me, along with the pens. Uh, I've got the microns. I've got these. I believe these are from... Uh, I'll put a link to these in the description. I can't remember the name of these pens, but these are really cool because they're tiny. Uh, and they're universal. They'll fit any cartridge that you purchase. Uh, so I really, really like these. Um, awesome pens. These are really tiny as, as well. I'm not sure if you pronounce this Calico or Cavico Sport. These are German pens. They just come out, snap in. I really like fountain pens. They work really well. They're really smooth. These are light. Uh, again, for me, everything is weight and portability. And so I traveled with six pens to journal with. And this is my entire traveling kit right here. But that's how I journal. Hopefully that helps you. If you have any questions or if you have something you do, put it in the description below. Let us all know. We can all benefit from even your study habits and journaling. I would like to know because maybe I'll modify this. But that's all I've got. Thank you again for all the support. Next week I will be uh, uh, choosing a winner for the Bible giveaway. So cross your fingers. It might just be you. I love you guys. If this video has helped you with your study time or if it's given you an idea in journaling, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing and sharing this video. That's all I got. See you in the next video.